Hey Planet Coaster fans, theme park enthusiasts, and friends of the channel. My name is Shadow Phoenix. It is Tuesday, which means it is time for a Planet Coaster quick build. Part of my series where I take reference photos that I have collected over uh, a long time. And I look through them and I try to find something that kind of just sticks out to me. And then I basically try to recreate that in Planet Coaster. Once I get done, you know, I try to do them kind of quick. Usually takes me about two hours or so to build one of these. Uh, and then I throw it up on the workshop for you guys to download and put in your own parks or to take apart and see how it works. You know, in case you want to do kind of a tutorial thing. So, um, today I am looking at a photo from Busch Gardens of Williamsburg. This is a beer and pretzel shop uh, or restaurant that is over in the German section near Verboten. Um, and the thing about this, this building that kind of stuck out to me. It's very simple architecture wise. Like I knew most of this wasn't was gonna be really, really easy to build. A couple of things that stood out to me though was the tower itself. And if you look on the tower on the side of it, it has this really cool, like it's got a giant pretzel and a giant mug of a beer mug, basically. Uh, like that's foaming at the top. So those are the two things that's kinda like How am I gonna do that? You know? So I had to figure that out and you know, um, I, I went in, I, I played around with the beer mug for a bit. I actually found out, and this is kind of weird, but we have an actual pretzel in the game. There's a scenery object that is a pretzel, but yeah, we don't have a pretzel shop. So Frontier, if you're listening, it would be fantastic if you was to give us a, a pretzel shop. Um, most of the time when I'm trying to do a pretzel shop in a game, and I, I need these a lot when I'm building. Uh, so what I usually try to do is I'll take a Missy Goods and I'll throw in there and substitute that. Like, yeah, that's a pretzel shop. Um, I also use Missy Goods for funnel cakes too. So you know, if you, if you are listening, Frontier funnel cake shops, pretzel shops, those things would be great. We need some more shops. Thanks so much for all the new flat rides and stuff you gave us. Uh, maybe we could get some new shops as well in the next, you know, 1.8 maybe. Uh, that would be fantastic. Um, but anyway, I'm digressing from what we're actually doing. So looking at the tower on this, you'll notice that it starts out kind of thinner at the bottom and then it gets wider at the top. And I had to go about trying to build this in a very unique way. Uh, it's basically a bunch of buildings that are all kind of separate. So it does make it harder to move it. It's not all one building, it's just a bunch of separate buildings. So if you're moving it around, you kind of have to grab everything in order to move it. So if you place it and you get it wrong, it might be kind of difficult to pick everything back up. So you might want to make sure if you're placing this in your park, you get it right the first time. Um, but yeah, so basically what I did was I created the first piece, uh, the first layer, in about four meters high. And then I sunk the arch down in it so I could get a one meter piece on top of that. The next one up is about three meters and then the top layer is about two meters high. And once I figured that out, I just, you know, basically moved the pieces. I separated them all, made them in their own buildings, moved them around, and just kind of had them jut out a little bit from each other. So that's how I was able to get the tower to, to work that way. Um, very simple technique, but it works great. Um, just wish we could, like, have all the buildings and stuff in one. And, but that's the best I could do. So... I do want to talk about this right here, actually. This is something I notice a lot of, like, uh, first time and, you know, like, builders and stuff do, and I, I see this a lot. I always recommend on your roofs to put a trim right around the edge of your roofs. Take, like, one of the wooden beams, like the spooky wooden beams or the regular wooden beams. Um, lay them, make sure it's, like, set to align to uh, scenery or whatever. Place it on top of the roof and it will line up with the exact same angle that your roof is and then just rotate it down and then you know move it around until you get it right where you want it and it lines up perfectly with the edge and I highly suggest that because it makes your buildings look so much better with just a little piece of trim on there. So many people use their, their roofs with no like trim on the edges and it's just like the bare roofs and if you do this one simple thing, I guarantee you your buildings are going to look so much better. You're going to look back and say, man, that, yeah, I should always do this. And I highly recommend it. That is something, just a, a tip from me. Um, 
And that's one of the things about these these quick builds is that I want you to learn from them. Uh, it's it's not just me, you know, just like, oh hey, I need to do a video today. Let's just build something and throw it out. I want to do this as more tutorials and also just to kind of show you guys how I build and just, you know, that, that's kind of the idea behind it. So if you wanted to, you could technically take and go down to the YouTube settings, slow down this video to about two times speed or whatever, and watch it and learn. You know, you could play the game. You could have, you know, my video playing on one screen, have the game open on another, and, you know, if you're lucky enough to have two monitors, that is. And um, you could set and build in the game and, you know, kind of copy what I do to build it. Uh, downloading the things from the workshop also can help you as well because you can take it apart see how it's made that's a lot of how i learned back in the very beginning like when i first started playing planet coaster i saw people like silverette building such amazing things and i, I was so overwhelmed i was like man i'm never going to be that good and you know i'm i'm still not as good as silverette but I, i'm pretty decent i think so um and another thing is learn all the scenery and stuff as well. Learn, go through, learn all the pieces and stuff. And and don't think of, you know, just because it is say a penguin or you know a a piece of frosting or something, it could be used for so many other things. So try not to be tied down to what the object is and use a little bit of imagination and make it. It can become anything you need it to be. Like I use those frosting pieces just now to make um, hangers for my lamps. So worked great I use the chimneys turn them upside down and you got like you know little blocks and stuff for um, you know the edges of the tower down at the bottom and there's so many things that can be used for so many other things and yeah one of the awesome new things we got with 1.7 uh, was the ability to to uh, turn scenery pieces into you don't need to put like a wall or like a, a piece down to make it gridded or anything. You can actually like put them into a group now. So what I was able to do there was, as you just watched me do, um, was I was able to put the windows and stuff and you know the trim and stuff around the tower. I was able to move those around all the way around the tower just by separating them into their own pieces and then just rotating them around. Worked so much easier and it took a whole lot of time off my build. So. That's something else, you know, I definitely suggest learning how to do is use those. So, now comes the time in the video where it was probably the gem of the entire build, and that is the beer mug. So I got the pretzel down. What I did to create the beer mug right over top of it for the sign was I used a barrel, and then I found these little cookies that had this little white frosting on top of it. And I realized that the, the cookies were perfect size of the barrel. So all I had to do was just rotate them around a little bit. And I got this really cool like beer foam on top of the mug. That worked so good. I, I couldn't believe how good it came out. Like I truly, 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 truly really loved this part of the entire building. It's, it's like so weird to say, but it's the beer mug that I like the best out of the entire building. And... It was kind of genius, if I do say so myself, that you know I was able to find that and make that work. The handle was a whole other problem, though. I had to look through every single scenery piece until I found something that would work for the handle. I thought about using snowman pipes, but the snowman pipes are black and black only, and that didn't really work for me. So I needed to find another way to do that. Um, so I ended up using, <laughs> of all things, the skeleton legs. Uh, I guess you could kind of say I tripped upon it and you know, fell right onto it. So I used the skeleton legs to make the handle. Is it perfect? Nah, it didn't work. You know, and that's all that matters. So, and with the side and stuff done, the only thing really left to do is just, you know, the, the little extra pieces, a little bit of more trim here around the edges, uh, putting the rest of the, uh, the building pieces around to make the rest of the building, the back, the, you know, the sides fixing the roof and stuff. That's really all there is left in this video. But I do want to take the time to kind of, uh, to ask for a little bit of support from all my fans and stuff out there. Not that you guys aren't supportive as it is, because you guys are great, but uh, if you don't know, or if you do know, uh, I'll tell you anyway. Basically, YouTube and Twitch are my full-time job anymore. This is what I do to try to earn a living. Um, and it's, it's not great, I tell you, I'm not making much from it, but you know, affiliate stuff and things like that can kind of help, but I'm 
kind of in a bit behind on, on stuff, so I could really use the support. And I want to talk about my Patreon for a little bit. Now, I don't want to beg or anything like that. I'm not going to be that kind of guy. But basically, I want to advertise. I want to hawk my, my Patreon out there to, to all of you. I only you basically play on Twitch anymore on weekends, which is Fridays and Saturdays, because I put in all my time into making these great videos for you guys every single day, sometimes two videos a day. And uh, it takes time. A lot of you probably lack, oh, all he does is play games all day, you know. He doesn't work and play games all day. No, I don't get a chance to play as much as you think. It takes a long time to, to make the, and edit these videos and render these videos and stuff. And when my videos are rendering, that's like two hours of my time or, or you know, in, an hour to two hours of my time that I can't do anything else other than, you know, I can't use my computer for anything but surfing the internet. That's it. I can watch YouTube videos, something like that, but I can't play any other games. So I can't make any other videos while one is rendering. So it kind of sucks. Um, so, you know, I just want to say, you know, I have a Patreon. The link for it is down in the video description below. And it would mean so much to me if uh, you guys were to, you know, help me out by becoming a Patreon. What you get for becoming a Patreon is a couple of different things. A, um, you get uh, basically anybody, and this is for $5 or more. Anybody can do like a dollar. If, even if you just do a dollar, don't think you have to do like $5, $10 or anything like that. Just a dollar. Most of my YouTube videos for Planet Coaster get about an average of 500 views or more. Sometimes less, but usually an average of about 500 views. If all 500 people who watch my videos and enjoy that donated a dollar a piece, that's like almost my entire rent for the month right there. And that would be fantastic. But not obviously, no, not everybody's going to do that. And I understand that sometimes things are hard for you guys too. So that's why I'm not going to beg or anything like that. I'm just, like I said, I'm just advertising it. I uh, just want to let you guys know that it is out there and it would mean a lot to me if you did. So $5 supporters on Patreon or more will basically get early access to my videos. I'm working on a backlog right now. I've already got a few videos recorded. I just have to get them rendered and uploaded. And you'll have early access to those anywhere from a few days to a week ahead before they're actually on for the general public. You also will not see any ads during the early access part. Once they go live for general public, yes, there'll be ads on it. But if you're watching early access, you won't have the ads or anything on there as well. I'll remove those until the video goes live for the general public. So you get all of that and you also get entered into a monthly drawing just like my Twitch subscribers where I used to do this for my Twitch subscribers. Uh, I would give away like three free games every month. I would randomly pick three of my Twitch subscribers and give away a random game too. Now the games aren't fantastic by any means. They're, they're alright. Some of them are older. It's basically games that I got from Humble Bundle or something like that. And I give those away. So that's two of the things that you get for being there. Now also, starting next week, I'm also going to start including credits in my videos and you will be included in those credits. Now this is even if you just donate a dollar in my Patreon or more, you'll be put into different categories. Obviously the people who donate the most will be higher at the top of the, the credits list. So um, if you wanna be, you know, see your name on the, at the end of the videos then you, you're gonna get that too now these things aren't fantastic you know they're not computer giveaways or anything like I see some people do these on patreon people give away like computer parts and keyboards and stuff and it's like wow you know but they've got like thousands of people on patreon so me I'm humble I'm very very small and I just want to say that that kind of stuff would mean so much to me if you would just check out my patreon and you know if you feel like donating a dollar then hey I, I so much appreciate it you know uh, and it would help me out a lot so with that being said uh, we are at the end of the video so again the patreon link is in the video descriptions uh, along with the steam workshop link as well so you guys can go check out this what I just built along with all my other quick builds and everything else that I've ever created for planet coaster is in my steam workshop as well go check those out down below make sure you uh, you rate those as well give it a uh, thumbs up on Steam because that helps me out and you know the more upvotes you get on an item you can get to the front page the more downloads the more upvotes all of that and you know 
I, I notice a lot of people on the front page of Steam Workshop are always pretty much the same one. So let's see if we could dethrone some of those people for ju just a, a day. And let's see if we can get maybe some of my stuff up on the front page. That would be awesome. Um, but I do want to say thank you for everybody. I can't believe – I'm over 1,200 subscribers. I can't believe I've made it this far. It's been a long road, and the journey's not over yet. And I'm still going strong. I'm still making better videos than what I made a year ago or two years ago. Everything is just – it's it's blowing me away with all the support that you guys are giving me just by watching my videos you know i went from you know uh, am i gonna hit 100 views you know to you know like if a video hit 100 views it was like whoa now it's like can i hit a thousand views you know but on the average i hit about a 500 so i'm, I'm still happy with that i'm good with that um but yeah thank you everybody for watching my videos i, I just I can't say that enough. I appreciate the support for everything. Um, and, you know, we've got the Patreon. We've got Twitch subscribers. We've got, um, you know, just watching the videos helps out. And, you know, also affiliate links and stuff as well. You know, Green Man, I have Green Man Gaming is one of my affiliates as well as Humble Bundle as well as Amazon. So, you know, click my links. If you buy anything from clicking on those links, then it helps me out as well because I get a small percentage of anything purchased by clicking on my links. Um, that's going to be it for me. Uh, I've, I've rambled on enough. I've <laughs> talked forever during this. Um, and I appreciate you guys just for tuning in. Thank you so much. Until the next video, my name is Shadow Phoenix. Wherever you guys are in the world and whatever time you're watching, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thanks, everybody. I will see you in the next video.